Frank Sinatra, the fearless leader of the Rat Pack, was a force to be reckoned with, and his legacy lives on in more ways than one. He's viewed as one of the greatest musical artists of the 20th century. And yes, he's the best-selling musical artist of all time, having sold somewhere in the ballpark of 150 million albums globally. But there is a little part of the man who died in 1998 that still lives on in a more tangible way. Frank was married four times, and throughout these marriages, he had three children. Those three kids, Nancy, Tina, and Frank Tina, all ended up doing different things with their lives. And sadly, only two are still with us. But if Frank was still alive today, he would likely be very proud of what they managed to accomplish and how they kept their family name alive. Join Facts First as we catch up with Frank Sinatra's children and see what the surviving two are up to today. Nancy Sinatra Following in her father's footsteps, Nancy, age 81, is a singer and actress. She's the oldest child of Frank and Nancy Sinatra and was born June 8, 1940. She's perhaps best known for her hit 1966 song, These Boots Are Made For Walkin'. Nancy was born in Jersey City, New Jersey. When she was a toddler, her family relocated to Hasbrook Heights, New Jersey. They later moved once again to Toluca Lake, California to support Frank's Hollywood acting career. While there, Nancy learned how to play the piano, took dance and drama lessons, and underwent extensive vocal training. She got her start as a singer and actress in 1957 when she made an appearance on her dad's ABC Variety program. At first, she only found success in Europe and Japan. But in 1966, she released These Boots Are Made For Walkin', which transformed her into a global star. A promotional television clip from this period featured Nancy in high boots alongside a group of go-go dancers in colorful outfits. This look is now considered an iconic one of the swinging 60s, and it was a look she was fairly famous for donning. The song was penned by songster Lee Hazelwood, who went on to write and produce the majority of her hit songs and would occasionally sing duets with her. Nancy had 13 songs that charted in 1966 and 67. All those featured session musician William Everett Strange as conductor and arranger. Some of her other notable recordings include Sugartown, Something Stupid, Summer Wine, and her cover of Bang Bang, My Baby Shot Me Down, which was featured in the opening credits for Tarantino's film Kill Bill Volume 1. From 1964 to 68, Nancy appeared in a handful of motion pictures. She appeared alongside Peter Fonda in The Wild Angels and teamed up with Elvis in the film Speedway. In 1965, she co-starred with her father in the comedy Marriage on the Rocks. Even though she's now in her 80s, Nancy still is putting out music. In 2013, she put out the digital-only album Shifting Gears, and in 2020, Light in the Attic Records announced their plans to release Nancy's archival collection. That same year, Nancy started Nancy's Boutique, an online shop that features her albums, merchandise, and autographed items. Nancy's been married twice. Her first marriage was with pop singer Tommy Sands in 1960 and ended in divorce five years later. She married a man named Hugh Lambert in 1970 and remained with him until his death in 1985. They had two children, Angela Jennifer Lambert Paparazzi and Amanda Catherine Lambert Erlinger both of whom received $1 million in the form of a trust fund set up by their grandfather. Angela Jennifer Lambert, who goes by AJ, is a musician who got her start playing in punk and goth bands. These days, she performs music that's more akin to what her grandfather used to sing. Her most recent single, 2018's I Got It Bad, for example, was an emotional piano ballad. AJ's sister Amanda is a photographer, among other things, and has never tried to make a career for herself in the spotlight. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. And stick around for more about Frank Sinatra's kids. Frank Sinatra Jr. Born Francis Wayne Sinatra on January 10, 1944 in Jersey City, Frank Jr. hardly ever saw his father while growing up, as he was almost always on the road playing shows or acting in films. As far back as he can recall, Frank Jr. always wanted to be a pianist and songwriter, and he managed to achieve that dream before passing away in 2016 at age 72. At age 19, in 1963, Frank Jr. was kidnapped at Harrah's Lake Tahoe. He was released by his captives two days later after his dad paid the quarter-million-dollar ransom. Today, that would equate to about $2 million. His kidnappers, Barry Keenan, John Amsler, and Johnny Irwin, were apprehended soon after his release and tried and convicted of kidnapping. Each received lengthy prison sentences, although they only served a fraction of them. 
Keenan was the brains behind the operation and was later determined legally insane when he committed the crime and thus did not bear responsibility for his heinous actions. Frank Jr. kicked off his musical career playing at local clubs and venues in his teens. At 19, he became the lead vocalist for Sam Donahue's musical outfit. He spent a significant amount of time as well playing with Duke Ellington and learning the ropes of the music industry. Although he managed to make a career out of performing, he was constantly compared to his father and never displayed distinctiveness to set himself apart. In 1980, after struggling to make it big for decades with little success, he joined his father on the road. He maintained a presence in the limelight, albeit discreetly, until 1998, the year his dad passed away. Since then, he's made a couple of appearances on TV playing himself and various other characters. One notable credit was playing a player in Tony Soprano's high-stakes poker game. Frank Jr. married Cynthia McMurray on October 18, 1998. They split two years later. He had one son, Michael, from a previous relationship. Michael is a jazz singer in Vegas. According to his website, he likes to sing pop songs from the Great American Songbook and those performed by the Rat Pack. On March 16, 2016, it was announced Frank Jr. had passed away at age 72 after having a heart attack while on tour in Daytona Beach, Florida. Tina Sinatra Christina Sinatra was born the 20th of June, 1948, in Los Angeles. She's Frank Sinatra's youngest child, whom he had with his first wife, Nancy Barbato Sinatra. Frank and Nancy got divorced when Tina was three. Unlike her siblings, Tina never wished to be a singer. Instead, she took acting lessons and notably appeared opposite Hampton Fancher in the German 1969 TV miniseries Romeo and Julia 70. Tina lived in Germany for a few years before returning to the States to take more acting lessons with actor Jeff Corey. During this time, she appeared in shows such as It Takes a Thief, Adam-12, Mannix, and McLeod. Even though she never really wanted to be a singer, she did appear on the 1968 album The Sinatra Family Wish You a Merry Christmas alongside her father and siblings. Despite the fact she had initially set out to become an actress, she later wrote in her memoir she lacked the ambition and drive to become a full-fledged actress. She eventually became a theatrical agent instead. After her father's death and upon his request, Tina took full control of Frank's film and music legacy. She's also occasionally worked as a film and TV producer. In 1992, she produced the CBS miniseries Sinatra, which dealt with her father's life. She also served as a producer for the 2004 remake of her dad's 1962 film, The Manchurian Candidate. In 2000, she released her memoir, My Father's Daughter, which was co-written by Jeff Coplin. After a brief engagement to Robert Wagner that ended in 1972, Tina married musician Wes Farrell in 1974. They divorced two years later. In 1981, she married a man named Richard Cohen, though they divorced just two years later. It appears as if Tina is retired these days and living in Beverly Hills. It's also known that she never had any children. Now it's time to hear from you. If you were the child of a star like Frank Sinatra, do you think you'd try to follow in their footsteps or do your own thing? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.